This video comes directly from my video log, which I sometimes keep when I review products. I guess I do this to help me remember accurately what I was thinking at the time. Please let me know in the comments if you like these sorts of videos and I'll try and, and continue to make more of them basically. This video is a direct comparison between a good quality ported subwoofer, the XTZ1217 Edge, versus a popular sealed subwoofer from SVS, the SB2000 Pro. In this video, I am testing movies specifically. So I have another video coming out which will address the situation with music. I suggest you subscribe if you want to catch more videos like this. Now I have time stamped, time stamped, sorry, I have time stamped the video. So if you want to skip to a more interesting bit, then just scroll to the bit you, you are interested in. You might also want to use headphones for this video as I have recorded some of this using a high quality condenser microphone. Still not ideal conditions, but it might give you a little bit more insight into what is happening in the room. In this video, I'm going to be testing the XTZ 1217 Edge, which is a ported design. But as you can see, you can modify it slightly by inserting the port plugs in different arrangements. So you can close left and right, you can uh, leave one open and you can leave the left one closed and the right one open and they all provide different sounds and this is the arrangement that I believe a lot of people go for and that's with the left port open which apparently uh, provides the deepest bass response. On the left we have the SVS SB2000 which is a sealed subwoofer and we're going to be testing how much of a difference uh, this makes and I've got some test tracks here I've got my microphone ready which should uh, help provide some more clarity on this you might want to use headphones to get the best sound quality and to monitor more of what's going on in this room so yes I'm going to play a series of videos now or short clips and let's hear the difference between these two. So first one, in fact, first thing, let's turn the microphone on. I have pre-calibrated this, so we should, there we go. Just for clarity, we're gonna be testing the XTZ1217 Edge in this clip. We have set the uh, volume, sorry, I forgot the word for volume. We have set the volume at 75 decibel, uh, decibels, which is reference for small to medium sized rooms like this one. This is probably just about a medium sized room. So let's get started. plus years of service. Combat medals, citations. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. Yet you can't get a promotion, you won't retire. Despite your best efforts, you refuse to die. Star Admiral by now. Yet here you are. Captain. What is that? It's one of life's mysteries, sir.
old maverick. Your kind is headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Okay, that's that test done. I can tell you immediately that this sub is insane. It's absolutely insane. I've been testing a lot of sealed subs recently and there's a debate around ported subs versus sealed subs and somehow all ported subs sound blurry and they're just for, you know, it's just for volume for SPL for sound pressure level but this sub is not that is not the case that it's, it's it's a myth I believe this debate between sealed and ported it's all about the components that's been put inside the quality of the internal components the amplification because this sub here does not sound blurry at all it's very 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 tight and it's a massive sound very very uh pleasurable it's excellent so now we're going to test moving on with the xtz 1217 edge to the thx genesis test <laughs> that done and the next test is interstellar and I'm gonna play uh, yeah I'm gonna play the wormhole scene there's no point in overdoing it and playing every single scene that's enough this scene is excellent for testing the sub bass a lot of subwoofers without much sub bass it's not gonna sound like there's much going on in this scene but with the right subwoofer, you will feel the difference. So I'm going to move that now. It's about one hour in. It's there. This is the wormhole scene. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. beyond our three dimensions. All you can do is record and observe. What is that? It's that. Distorted space time. Okay, 
that scene was uh, crazy. You know, that, that's, that's more like what it's meant to sound like. And uh, this subwoofer, it's uh, like you can tell, you know, it's, um, it's moving a serious amount of air. I can actually feel the air from that sub on my leg, like at the fan at the moment. And uh, there's a smell that's going into the room, like probably the smell of inside the box or something like that. I've got no idea. But um, yeah, very impressed with this sub. So we're going to see in the next part of this video how the SVS SB2000 Pro is going to match up to this big ported sub that actually costs less than the SVS. Okay. Now we have the SVS in position. I have this subwoofer set up already. Both of these were set up earlier, calibrated. So I'm going to switch over to its setting now. I have two different profiles or setting patterns. Pattern 2 was for my XTZ setup. And pattern one was for the XT, sorry, for the SVS. So I'm now going to rerun the test I did earlier. So that's that. You can see I've done that. Uh, yeah, just turn the lights off and then we're going to switch this off. The gain on that has remained the same. So let's, in fact, let's turn the lights down. No, this is too much of this flicker going on. So we'll turn those off. Yeah. Okay. We will rerun the test now in the same order. So Top Gun first. Okay, so about to play Top Gun. Hit record. And we are now testing the SVS SB2000 Pro. 550 watt sealed subwoofer with a series of video clips. Let's start. Thirty plus years of service. Combat medals, citations. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. Yet you can't get a promotion, you won't retire. Despite your best efforts, you refuse to die. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are, Captain. What is that? It's one of life's mysteries, sir. Headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Okay, so that test is done. Immediate difference, as you'd expect between a sealed and a ported design. With a sealed, it's more about 
like hearing the bass notes like it's more about you know it's it's like you can pick out the bass notes i mean you can do that with the xtz as well but the xtz has one more thing and that's more about the feeling that you get so like in the couch like the svs it does shake the couch but not like the xtz the xtz is shaking the house not just the couch you know that's the the big difference and it's not a case that the xtz is blurry because i don't feel like it's blurry i feel like it's plenty good um you know honestly it's uh this is clear as day but if you are going to compare this svs sb 2000 to the pc 2000 the ported version of the svs which i heard a while back i'd probably take the the smaller sealed one because i found that the pc 2000 was a little bit blurry and it did have those traditional faults that people pick out on ported designs but not the xtz's it's a totally different um it's to totally different uh design to the pc sorry yeah pc 2000 anyway let's carry on let's go on to thx genesis now <laughs> Whatever that is, that weird insect flaps its wings. The XTZ was, you could feel that. You could feel that. There's a lot of sub bass information there. Let's carry on. And there, when you zoom out of the snow globe, again with the XTZ, I felt something there and I heard something lower than 40 hertz or whatever it is. There's, there's, there's a note there, which you can't really describe but it, because it's so low, but there's definitely something there that's missing a bit with this SVS. that so there's something missing in the sound now as you'd expect obviously a lot of people they don't know how much of a difference it is and that's why I'm kind of making this video so you can see the specific points that I've just finished testing this XTZ and direct di direct comparison I'm making now it, ma it makes it so much easier to pick out these differences so we'll move on to interstellar We'll move on to the scene, wherever it was. Let's go. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. I'm already feeling a difference like it's not it's not doing it as much for me with the XTZ I felt like my heart was racing at this point Beyond our three dimensions. 
All you can do is record and observe. What is that? It's that one. Distorted space time. No! No! where they've just come out of the wormhole didn't feel anything there pretty much nothing from the svs so i'm just going to focus on this one part of interstellar to explain the difference i'm trying to make here i think this is prob probably the most important part of this video so if you can get your headphones i think you should get your headphones if you want to actually hear some of this difference As you can see, just by studying that one tiny part of that clip, there are more dynamics with the XTZ, there's more sub bass, and that's what creates a much more realistic atmosphere and listening experience. Now, in my opinion, forget Dolby Atmos. In my opinion, the subwoofer is the most important part of the system, and that really provides you a sense of space, and it gives you that atmosphere the atmosphere in the system that you know height speakers are not really going to give you that same level of atmosphere like a subwoofer can so if anyone's wondering about dolby atmos you know get yourself a good sub first anyway yeah the other thing that you get with the xtz over the svs you have a sense of feeling the bass which i can't capture for you over the microphone but if you add that in as well then i just don't see a case for the svs sb2000 pro when the XTZ is cheaper and in my opinion better quality sound and more realistic sound and in my opinion a quality realistic sound is heavily reliant on dynamics it's not just about sound depth a lot of people are very concerned about you know how you know what 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 depth is there to to a sound and transient response and this is very important but dynamics just like in music is what creates the feeling of realism Right, like a lot of you will already know. I know a lot of you guys know this, but some of you don't. Like, the thing is, a lot of people go for the sealed because they feel like it's a, it's less. There's less distortion in the sound compared to a ported. With a ported, you get like port resonances that you you know can distort the sound. Blah de blah de blah. But what I believe is also a distortion of the sound is missing notes altogether. Like as a musician, I can tell you if you were playing in an orchestra and there was a certain section of the orchestra that weren't playing the notes that are written down on the on the score, then the piece is not going to sound right, is it? And that's the that's the case with this. The SVS, while it's good, it's not playing those notes. It's not playing those lowest notes. So there's something missing from the score, from the from the movie. And that's where that ported subwoofer comes in. It fills in that, you know, and in this case, a very well uh, designed ported subwoofer doesn't sound like there's a distortion there. It's plenty tight bass. Take into account these Teufel speakers that I've got here are THX uh, certified sealed speakers. These are sealed speakers. They're not bass reflex designs. And this is not, this ported subwoofer here is matching up with these perfectly. 
you know so it's kind of a myth this whole thing and I it's really about the quality of what's inside super high excursion driver partnered with uh, a good cabinet partnered with a 700 watt ice power modern class D amplifier which is known to have a an iron grip over over the driver in my view that is a very good subwoofer for the money that's about six seven hundred quid something like that forgot the exact price it keeps going up and down which is an issue on you know on its own to be honest but i wanted to make this video to provide some clarity on this situation and maybe if you are searching for a good subwoofer this is going to show you the difference in movies if you really want that real experience then you could go sealed but you'd have to get a few of these around the room for example ideally two but maybe even three of those or you could upgrade to the bigger version the 14 inch 13 to 14 inch version the sp3000 which i'm going to be testing soon but i know that it, it performs uh considerably more loudly than this you know at least three or four decibels which is a lot really definitely audible and you can feel it so we'll have to see but uh, that's the end of this video hope you liked it if you want more of these like it put your comments below let me know what you like what you didn't like or whatever try not to be too nasty though and i will see you next time now you subscribe or I smash you.